Hello friends, in this tutorial I am going to discuss about how can we generate the report like in Selenium we can generate report, uh, test ng report, earlier report or extent report so there is also one option in postman we can generate the report so in previous tutorial I have discussed about how can we execute the collection using by command prompt with the help of new man so in today tutorial we will see how can we generate report alright so this collection and the environment I have already exported here you can see here in this folder and here you can see this is my collection and this is the environment all right so in order to generate the report we need to install some package okay so all right so if you uh, if you open the Google and if you search like new main HTML report so if you open like first URL so here you can see that this package new main hyphen reporter hyphen html all right so in order to execute you need to run this command npm install hyphen g new main hyphen reporter hyphen html since i have already installed this package so i am not going to execute this command so if you want to generate report so you must need to install this package so this is a command all right just you need to copy and just you need to paste uh, in the command prompt so like here open the command prompt all right so i just open and just paste the command just hit the enter all right so once you install then you are ready to go i mean like you are you are ready to generate the report so we have learned in last uh, last tutorial like this is a command for new man if you want to execute from command prompt new man run and you need to pass the collection and if you're having environment and just hit the enter then report will generate automatically in in the command prompt all right in the in the form of tabular form all right so in order to generate the report you need to add hyphen r and html all right so now let me run so now let me write new man and run and then collection so my collection name user details so i am passing here and hyphen e because i am going to use environment and environment name is dev env all right so if i hit the enter then it will execute right in this command prompt but i am going to generate the report so i need to add these two command here you can see here hyphen r and html so let me add hyphen r and html all right and let me hit enter so here you can see here it's running even you know we are not seeing the logs okay in the command prompt if you want to see the logs there is also one uh, option you can add here so if you go to the same folder right okay so you can see here so you can see it in command prompt right the current directory okay where i execute this command so in same location it create one folder you can see a new man and if you open new man you can see it, it generate one report so if i open the report so here you can see here like it recent it ran only one time and total request 11 and pre request script 7 test script 18 and assassin 30 how much time it took right how many tests fill only two tests fill all right and you know some more details here basic testing and this is the url how much time it took and what are the assertion i was asserting right so here we can see here okay what is the percent what is the fail count and this is the next request all right so here we can see here all the details okay now if you want to see here like, like uh, the logs as well so you need to add one command so here i have noted down you know few commands in this uh, notepad so this is one command called cli so just you need to add cli simply so how to do and here just add cli and comma and html so if i hit the enter it will generate one report along with we can see here the execution process in this command prompt all right let me hit enter so here we can see here logs okay and here we can see this tabular form 
how many fail how many pass so total in 32 fail so 28 pass all right so if i open again this location and here we can i can see here this is okay one more report latest report all right so this is what we can we can generate you know report as well as we can see here the logs all right so let me cover one more thing like uh, if you want to run this collection two times then how can we do so if you see here like there is a one option hyphen and so hyphen n and you need to pass the iteration how to do so if i say hyphen n and two so previously we can see here it ran 30 and two fail so if i'll execute two times right then the count would be 60 and four would be fail so i'm going to execute two times so let me hit enter so this time my collection all the task is will run two times so it is running and now one more time it is running and it will generate final report so final report will see 60 and 4 failure as well as if i open the report and here i'll see the count 60 and 4 failure all right so this is how we can generate the report and here you can see here this report is not very colorful right this is you know very very simple report so if you want to see the colorful report then you need to install one more package and the report is looks like very good if you search on google right newman html extra then this page you will get and when you open this page right and here you will get the link how to you know install this package so this is a command for for this html extra so npm install hyphen z newman hyphen reporter hyphen html extra this is the command so since i have installed this package so i'm not going to execute this command and this is a one, one more command okay so this command is sufficient for me okay this is one docker command all right so how to use this command this is very simple and in this command so in previous command what i was doing you can see here i was doing hyphen r and html and in this command i need to add html extra only this word i need to append html extra all right so let's see and everything would be same all right so if you use uh, hyphen n2 then it will execute two times so i am going to use cli as well and let me add html extra all right so everything is same and just i have added this extra okay and cli i am using for logs we can see it in this command prompt so let me hit the enter okay now test keys are executing All right, task is completed and here we can see 30 test case ran and two fail so now if i open like this same location and here if i open this new report here you can see this colorful report this looks like you know very pretty and there's one option of light and dark so here you can see it light and dark so this is you know lots of features are here in this report and here you can see the collection user details okay environment it is uh, showing this name as well of the environment how much time total it took it took 4.8 second and what is the total data received this and average response time this this is a tabular form the summary item total request 11 what is a pre-request script 7 and test script 18 and assertion 30 and to fail that's why it is showing this red and skip test case is zero all right if you want to see you know detail information just click on the top if you click here right total request 11 so if i click here and if you want to see more details then click here and here you can see here this iteration get your details this test case fail and if you want to click here if you want to see the reason why it failed so this was the get request and this is was the url what we hit and uh, test first percentage 70 eight percent because in this test case i assert you know many things and few of them are filled that's why we are getting this percentage all right and you know here very good view right request header what was the request header what is the response header so this was a request header and that that's what i received 
okay when i hit the request all right and that was a response body see each and everything it you know it has captured and we can copy this as well this body okay test information okay so this is the assertion asserting null value so this fail email format verification of first index email this pass so here we can see here all details all right and example of equals and you know some test case fail and the reason was like we are looking this this should equal to this something that's why it failed all right and this got pass all right it's very good view and this is a field test case it is generating in different tab so if you want to you know see the field test case details you can see here and skip test case we don't have any skip test case and here we are seeing like there are no skip test all right this is very very good report and if you if you want to do you know some more experiment and just go to on this page this is html extra i'm talking about and like if you want to generate this report on desktop or any other folder so that is very simple okay and thus you need to add this command like okay till here we ran hyphen r and html extra in this command you can see here all right this till here we have ran so if i want to keep the report in desktop so what i need to append i just need to append this line dash dash reporter and dash html extra dash export and i need to give the path of the desktop and if you want to give any name you can give the name as well and this time the file will be saved at the respective location and you are having you know mul multiple things are here like if you want to use any you know uh, some custom template you can generate a template and you can use that template so there is some different procedure i'm not going to talk about right now and like so only fail you can generate report with only with failure and you know too many things are there if you want to keep only a browser name title okay blah blah many things are there if you want to do more experiment just go to this page and just copy the command and just play with it so you will get you know more hands on and you will be more confidence uh, to use this report okay i am going to add uh, you know this link below below in the comment section so if you want you can use these this reference directly all right so that's what i want to cover in this session and if you are having any doubt you can ask me into the comment section i'll respond as soon as possible thanks for the watching this video all right so guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's my request to subscribe for the upcoming videos thank you so much